Hi everyone and welcome back to another card making video. Today I'm playing with new stamps and dies that have just been released by Altenew. I'm just browsing through some of the stamp sets really quickly so you can take a look and uh, this is actually part of a blog hope there are lots of giveaways and inspiration so make sure to visit my blog to find all about it now in the new release you will find stamps dies as well as matching stencils and uh, for today i will be working with uh, probably my favorite from this release this is called delicate bouquet and uh, this stamp set is uh, absolutely beautiful it gives you this uh, lovely flower bouquet that you can color with your favorite mediums there are also matching dies available that i don't have but you will see how i will be able to add some dimension without having to cut all around this flower bouquet and i'm going to start by stamping my image for that i'm working on my misty this is nina solar white cardstock and i will be stamping with permanent black ink by altenew just because i will be working with my alcohol markers to add color on my images this is a big stamp and it is the first time i'm inking it so it is a good idea to use a misty so that i can uh, stamp again on top to get a good impression now for coloring my image I'm using uh, my Altenew alcohol markers, three colors and these are, uh, the lighter one is blush, now I'm switching to rouge and then the darkest one is crimson and you can see the color codes on your screen right now. Now I started coloring the first petal, lightest to darkest and then back with my mid color to make sure that everything is nicely blended but this really takes me a lot of time. And I prefer my coloring to be quick, so I am going to switch now and I will color the rest of the petals starting from darkest all the way to lightest. And it's going to work just fine. The areas are quite small, so you don't have to do a lot of blending. I am starting with the darker color at the base of the petal and gradually go to lightest as I go to the tip. If you never used Altenew alcohol markers before, try them out, they are nice and juicy, they blend nicely together, plus they have the perfect soft brush nib. Altenew also gives you a color chart, so you know exactly which uh, markers match together and blend nicely. So you get uh, four different shades of the same color that match together, and the fun part is that they are a perfect match to their ink colors. So I will continue coloring petal by petal until I have all the flowers ready and now I'm going to switch and start coloring the leaves. For my leaves I went with just two shades since they are such a small areas. The light green is frayed leaf and the darker shade is forest glades and you can see the color numbers on your screen right now. Just like always you will find everything linked down below. Now after coloring everything, if you have the matching dye, you can cut it out and pop it on a card. Instead, since I don't have that and I want to add some dimension, I'm going to use my ruler and place it on top of my card base. And with my craft knife, I'm going to cut a couple of lines on top and at the bottom, making sure that I don't go through the design. And then I can use my scissors and cut out one edge. My panel is four and a quarter by five and a half, by the way, which means that it's going to have the exact same uh, uh, dimensions as my card base. And um, as I'm cutting out the edge, I'm making sure that I leave a white border. It makes my life easier and it's going to look nice when I am going to place it on top of my card. So I'm cutting this uh, design out until I meet the top line that I did with my craft knife. Now, once I cut this out and place it on top of my card base, I didn't like how far I cut it out. I want it to be even more. So that's why I'm going to do the exact same thing one more time and make it just a little bit deeper. Cutting one part of a design and creating kind of a decorative border is one of my favorite techniques. I think it looks beautiful on top of a card. Plus, you don't have to cut all around the image, especially if you don't have the dye.
Also notice that to mat this uh, border with a beautiful design, I picked a green cardstock that's four and a quarter by five and a half, and I tried to match the color of the green with the color of the leaves. So now to decorate it even more, I'm going to use this new stamp set. This is called Shine Like a Diamond, and it has this uh, big I think, believe it's six by six, big design of diamonds, which I'm going to stamp on top of uh, this uh, green cardstock. Now, I am going for a tone on tone look since I don't want this to be super vibrant, and um, that's why I'm using a green ink on that. And you can probably tell that I didn't do a perfect stamping here, but it really doesn't matter. Most of it is going to be covered with my decorative flower border, so it's going to be just fine. Now I also grabbed my gold cardstock and I'm going to cut out a strip out of that. And uh, with my Nouveau Deluxe glue, I'm going to stick it at the back along the cut line. So this is going to give a nice pop of shine. Now my border looks more finished and it uh, has that uh, professional look to it. I'm going to use my scissors to cut out any excess paper. And then at the back of this I'm going to add some foam tape. The foam tape that I'm using is by Arteza and it is uh, a great price. I absolutely love this one. And I'm going to stick that on top of my panel. And just like I always say, a flower card is perfect for any occasion, so it's up to you whatever you want to add on top as a sentiment. Now, I decided to go with Hello There, which I stamped with black ink on a thin strip of white cardstock. And finally, I'm going to embellish the green part of my card with a few gems in a white color. And I'm picking up my gems with my embellishment wand by Studio Katia, which I find it's really, really handy. And now all I have to do is to stick this panel on top of a pre-folded card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. Here are some close-up photos on the project that I made for today. Don't forget this is part of a blog hop, there are lots of giveaways, so make sure to visit my blog. I hope that you had fun today, that you got inspired, and thank you all for watching.